we earlier mentioned that our focus on uh, our first segment is about the mega project that was uh, inaugurated earlier this week by the head of state president al sisi inaugurating one of the most important steps uh, taken a leap uh, in Egypt's history, uh, a mega project uh, replacing uh, some 160,000 uh, Egyptian citizens from one of the poorest uh, 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 residential areas, uh, densely populated areas in Alexandria, uh, from informal settlements. They used to uh, suffer from many uh, uh, facilities that were taking place. And all overnight, uh, in a very short term, uh, this mega project was effected by 100% Egyptian effort and uh, businessmen uh, donations and uh, was inaugurated by President Al Sisi. That particular area in Alexandria was considered one of the most dangerous, uh, one of the most, uh, uh, one of the poorest, and one of the most uh, areas that uh, really lacked uh, most of the facilities, the human facilities that were supposed to be provided for citizens. And today, uh, it's one of the most modern, the most organized, uh, and one of uh, uh, Egypt's uh, leaps in uh, the fields of uh, development and uh, economic uh, prosperity. And of course, the mega projects, it's a series of mega projects that were taken by the Egyptian government under the leadership of President Al Sisi. Of course, we all see in the long run, and we, we have seen also last year uh, many uh, housing projects that were effected in uh, informal settlements uh, uh, um, in uh, rural areas in Egypt and in uh, densely populated one of the most poorest areas and of course we're going to shed more detail on that particular issue or that particular event that took place uh, earlier this week with our prominent guest Mr. Ahmed Aiz al Arab, honorary president al the party. Uh, hello uh, Mr. Aiz al Arab. Hello and thank you very much. Nice thank to see you, you again. <laughs> Me too, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for joining us. And uh, to start with, this is um, a very important and critical issue in the slum areas. And uh, Egypt has been trying to tackle this issue. It's not only in Egypt, it's everywhere. And um, tackling slum areas or moving it needs a lot of years. So do you think today, with the efforts that, is, uh, that are exerted, do you think uh, Egypt is on the right track in order to tackle this large and important issue? That's what I expect from a nationalistic, intelligent, honest leader like Afrata Sisi. It is so admirable that he looks down to the poor. I was in China in April, and I was so impressed that the government there took a decision that no area in China will be developed before the poor areas are up to the standard of Peking. So President Sisi has seen a lot in China doing this and I admire so much what he's doing. Yes. Um, so it's moving with the same um, strategy of China. This is what <coughs> Or China is the same strategy as Sis. Yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, this mega project uh, that was effected in Ghit al Ainab, in particular, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alexandria. I know what you mean. And the area the was, al -Khair housing the area the was a part of a hill. Right. It was, like you said, and excuse my language to say, it was one of the, uh, the most dangerous uh, and part dangerous of hell, as they used to call it. Desperate, everything you can say. But on that, like, there were other housing units and uh, housing projects that were effected last year by the head of state. Exactly. And uh, the Egyptian efforts, 100% Egyptian efforts. How do you see that uh, changing the demographical map of Egypt? President Sisi promised before he finishes his first term, all such areas will have disappeared from Egypt. Mm. And if he does this, yes. he will enter history from the widest door. Okay. Not the door of politics, but the door of human help of his own nation. Mm. This is most important. Mm. As uh, Ahmad Baydin said once, nationalism is not to love the country, but to love the people of the country. And that's what is Social justice. Yes. What else do you need is required to be able to effect the social justice, uh, which is uh, the cause that President Al Sisi has been ever seeking ever since he stepped in office? I would love if he starts having taxing for the rich capital tax to help the poor. Because it's not fair that the richest man 
is paying 35% in Egypt and 80, 90 something percent in Denmark, which is already very high standard. And he's paying this. And that's because of that we are having this standard. Yes, so uh, if we go back to the slum areas, how uh, dangerous is the effect of neglecting those slum areas on the right? society? How dangerous is neglecting slum You are slum breeding areas? terrorism, you are breeding desperation, you are breeding theft, you are breeding criminality, you are breeding everything when you have these slums. When somebody has nothing to lose, what do you expect him to do? Yes. Omar ibn Khattab once said, I'm surprised for a man who wakes up hungry and doesn't go through the people with his sword. So before they go with the sword, give them food. Yes. Mm. Right. You were talking about affecting the progressive tax, if you call it here in Egypt, or the capital gain tax. Which is uh, called, which is the world's universal name yes. for the tax that is affected on the rich or those who are, uh, I mean, um, overcoming the edges of, uh, I mean, the average. The rich income. themselves. But, but but when we talk about that, we see that uh, other procedures are being taken, like the added value tax, for example. Uh, it was not welcomed by most of the Egyptians. However, some economic analysts said that it's important to be able uh, to be saving some. Uh, or it's, uh, um, okay, during this period, we have to suffer. For balancing the deficit budget. We know I, very much that our country is being surrounded by enmity, mm. wild rabbits, wild rats surrounding the country, outside and inside. We know that we have to pay a price mm. for our independent decision. We know that we have a price to have crushed the most dangerous flood plot ever facing Egypt mm. or the area. Right. What happened in 30th of June mm. destroyed a vicious plan supervised by America since the 80s with all the Western countries parts of the plot. So when it's crushed in Egypt, don't expect them to be anything but wild, wild dogs.